Hello, my name is Ruth Simon McRae. I'm a textile artist and I'm going to show you around my show of Judaic uh, textiles at the Memphis JCC. So let's get started. The first one I want to show you is the very first um, talit that I ever made uh, called the Trees Talit. Um, I decided when I started to make um, Judaic textiles, I wanted them to be biographical. So this particular one is based on my life. I live in Taylorsville, Georgia, in a very small town. Um, and one morning, when it was just dawn, um, I looked up at the branches in my backyard at the, at the trees, and the branches against the sky were so beautiful, and I took a photograph. Um, and then from that photograph, I deconstructed it, kind of cut and pasted, and made a silk screen. And so that's the, um, the image that I started with here. So we have navy on the turquoise fabric, and then I did the reverse. I did turquoise on a navy linen. Um, then to increase the, um, I don't know, the complexity or the different images, um, worked with a stencil of abstracted tree, tree leaves, still in the same theme, and then kind of put it together with some other fabrics that um, visually made sense with it. So um, this is my very first one. Each, um, each item is made with different techniques and, and a variety of different techniques, not just like one per item. I just used whatever worked. And a lot of times they're a collage of different fabrics. So this one here, this is the birds and branches talit. And you can see as we look at it that it has birds and branches. Um, I started on this one. These are actually um, dish towels from Ikea. And I, I worked with a wax resist here. So um, I wanted to try some drawings of birds. Um, and I drew with the wax and then I over dyed. I made three pieces. I made this bird here, I made this little section with branches and then on the back, you can see birds and branches. Then I dyed them in an how, aqua how much, dye. Um, and after it was dry, I drew with hot wax, um, just melted wax. Um, and when it dried, I then over dyed these linen colored towels um, in an aqua. So it made it a really nice kind of a soft aqua color. And when that was dry, I ironed out the wax. But one of the cool things I discovered um, was that when you iron the wax, you get kind of a halo um, that adds a lot of depth to it. Also, the fabric itself was a herringbone fabric. And so it makes, the, it makes it look like a shaded drawing between the halo from the wax and the texture of the fabric. Um, I found some silk that was in a related color and um, trimmed it out with some ribbon. Then for the atara, now many tali toad have the neckband or the atara, um, but they don't have to. Um, this one says, Olam Chesed Yabane, which means we will build this house with love, which was just a saying that I really liked. Um, in the corner of each talit, you have tzitzit. They're all hand tied. Um, one thing about the tzitzit is there is a prohibition um, in Judaism of mixing linen and wool. And so on any um, item where I have linen, I have made linen tzitzit because typically the tzitzit are made out of wool. So let's go on to another one. This is a really different um, technique. I mean, it's still the wax resist, but in this case, we're working with indigo. Um, and indigo is a whole um, world in itself. So I painted on the pomegranates, which are a traditional Jewish symbol, um, and some leaf shapes. And then on the back, um, I drew a date palm, and the date palm is based on an antique coin, uh, an ancient uh, coin. I really just love the design, and so I freehanded it, and then over dyed it all um, uh, in indigo, and then made an atara. Um, this also doesn't have specific corners, but I'll show you one that does. So on to the next one. I have recently done a series of Tali Tot and Judaic textiles that are based on prayers, on the fragments of prayers that I particularly like. Um, this is my own personal Tali right now. I wore it at Yom Kippur services. 
and it's very comfortable. It's made out of a um, linen tablecloth that I actually grew up with. It was my mother's tablecloth. Um, it's lined, um, it's not lined, sorry, I was thinking of another one. Um, it has antique, you can see the corners here, are reinforced with an antique, um, I guess that's an embroidery. It's kind of like in a machine embroidery. Um, being linen, it has linen seat seat. Um, it has many different techniques on it. So um, one of the techniques is to just outline an embroidery and stitching um, the damask flowers on the tablecloth. Then I also made a stencil of some of those flowers, tracing some of those flowers because I felt like you didn't see them enough when, um, when you just saw the little bit of embroidery. A lot of this series of, of um, textiles has a prayer or a prayer fragment. And this one is one of my very favorites. It says, Hamechadesh betuvo b'chal yom tamid ma'asebereshit. And that means he renews daily, perpetually, the work of creation. Um, it has for an atara, just up at the corner, it has some antique lace. Um, and I also tried, this is a little complicated, but in the embroidery that I did, I tried to make a flow of color. So it goes kind of from purple to blue um, to emphasize the meaning of uh, renewing daily, perpetually the work of creation. So there are um, 20 tali tote in this show. I'd like to show you a few wall hangings and challah covers. This particular one is called Luminaries and it's based on uh, the creation story. It's from forming night and darkness. So I wanted to do a transition um, from dark to light. Uh, there are little beaded circles that are sewn on that sort of represent stars. And um, this is shibori dyed. Uh, that means I, I actually stitched it and pulled it together to make a resist and then dyed it in indigo. Um, I was going to make this into a talit and decided to make it into a wall hanging because in some cases indigo can crock and it's very important to me that the um, a textile that you're going to wear is um, perfectly color fast. Uh, but I also I really like it as a, as a wall hanging. Um, this one I'll also just mention this one called transformation. Uh, uses many different techniques. It uses a multi-hue dyeing with shibori. It uses a stencil, a kind of an Art Nouveau flower, uses a lot of stitching, and applique. Um, and I call it transformation because there's a feeling of growth in it and of the flowers and the changing of color, and also based on uh, the holiday of Passover and the themes that go along with Pesach. So very briefly, this is a series of um, 18 challah covers. Uh, there are many more I picked um, the most representative ones of different techniques. Um, they range from something like this, which is a, a block print outlined with some embroidery, then laid on a hand-dyed handkerchief, antique handkerchief, then laid on, on a, another piece of fabric that is um, wax resist dyed. So there's really a layering of different types of things here. Um, many different kinds of imagery. Some of them actually say, you know, Shabbat Shalom. Um, this one says, um, Mato, has the Mato Vu on it. Um, but many of them also don't say anything. They're designed to go, you know, over a colic um, on your Shabbat table. Um, at the same time, many people like to have these just as art pieces and they're very easy to hang, um, hang up on a wall. So thank you so much for coming to see my virtual show. Um, I hope you'll come see it in person.